So, in my opinion, if you're going to run a corporate owned and developed distro, this is the distro that you should be using. Pop OS. And it's by System76, computer manufacturer. It's basically Ubuntu, but it's much more than just a different theming of GNOME desktop. It's They put a lot of work into it, making it different from Ubuntu. They did rip all the staps out. And uh, what you're looking at here on the screen is their brand new Cosmic desktop. Um, it's called Epic. And Cosmic Epic. It's so new it's still alpha. It's not even technically released as alpha yet. It's still testing. I'm going to challenge myself this week for at least Monday at least to use this for my day job and I think I can pull it off without any hitches the I've gone through and I've done some customization here um, it is using Wayland so there might be some weird stuff going on with the OBS recording like I don't know if you if it comes through in the final version but that little black square around the cursor there that's not on the screen. That's OBS. So, but it's, dude, it's, it, I'm thoroughly impressed. A lot of the keyboard shortcuts, I like the tiling window options. You can, you can turn them on or off up here. But this is what I, I usually do is, when I, I use Pop OS for damn near three years as my daily driver. And, when 2204 came out and this this is miles above and beyond of what their old gnome customized thing was was and dude this is just awesome a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts you know followed through like super b is the browser and it's your default browser I've got Brave set as the default browser. Um, when you, if you've got multiple screens, multiple monitors, you will have, it, it'll, you know, detect that and it won't mirror it right off the bat. It'll, you know, have them carry over to the other display. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of cool. The default, panel not a panel but the bar down here at the bottom launcher bar is entirely too big in my opinion i shrunk it down i don't remember what i shrunk it down to 28 maybe desktop uh panel dock i shrunk it down to there it was like up here by default and that's annoying but this is so very cool. Like, like up here, let's do. Well, screw it. We'll just take a tour. The this is the settings. Obviously, you saw them down here. Desktop and panel. You got the launcher, workspaces, applications for your super key. Whether you know what you want to do with it. Um, I got it set on launcher. That's what it is at the at the default. You got the window controls, show the minimize button, that's this up here, maximize button up here, and then for the panel, that's the top bar up here, you can go have it automatically hide, you can put it on the top, left or right, whatever you want, or the bottom, Yeah, I like it up at the top, you can set the gap between the panel and the screen edges, so that, you know, that's this right there. I like having that on because I, I like that. I like having the gap. It looks kind of cool. Uh, extend the panel to the screen edges. I already did that. Um, the appearance, you can match the desktop or you can set it as light or dark. Then it stays that all the time. 
I prefer to match the desktop. I've got it set all the way at the small. Here it is at the at the large. That's like freaking huge. So I keep it on the small. <laughs> Background opacity I don't think works yet. But then again, I haven't found a, a a background that will show me show the transparency on there. But then you can figure the panel applets. Like say this is on a desktop and I don't really need this battery indicator. So I can get rid of that. I can go down here and find, see this is the end segment. That's the segment here. I go down here and find the cosmic battery applet for the battery and just delete it. And it's gone. I don't know why I got two OBS now, but is what it is. Like I said, this is alpha software, so <laughs> it's bound to be some funky stuff going on. But if you want to add something, you know, you, you can move these all around if you want. Uh, go down here to, or go back to the dock. And you can put the dock on the left. Or you can move it you know, to the top, right, or keep it back on the bottom. The You can extend it to the ed screen edges. I prefer to have it in the middle because you know, that's the way I am. And you can do the same with the light and dark or match the desktop. And then you can also configure the the applets that are in there. So if you want to get rid of this panel and move everything to the bottom, you can do that. This is this is very, very nice. You can also set your wallpaper. I've got you know some custom wallpapers in here added already, but it's got all the good old default wallpapers that that were in 2204, which by the way, this is 2204 with the new Cosmic Session Epic or Cosmic Epic desktop on it. So this is literally the, the same Pop OS that you can install right now. It's just got the, the uh, different desktop on it. You can change your accent colors. I have it. They, they have it set to like this color to begin with. And I don't like that. I like the purple. Uh, you can, Go wild, go yellow or lime green, gray, or you can make your own color. Uh, I'm not going to do all that because I'm not going to screw up my theme. <laughs> you can do the, the round is slightly rounded or square styles. I like the round. I've got the frosted glass effect on and active window hint. That's what this little purple thing is around here the, the purple line that's the active window hint size I've got it set to one they haven't set it three by default but uh, you can take that up right on up to however big you want to make it that's a little too big for me so I'll take it back down to one and then you can set your gaps around tiled windows. Your gaps, if you have multiple windows here, you see these, you still see the wallpaper there between them. That's what the gaps are. Those set, set at eight. You can make those as big as you want. Or you can make them as small as you want, or you know, completely turn them off if you want. Like eight, it's just a nice, that's a nice little, uh, little, what you, ah, crap, I just closed the settings. It's a nice little, eight is a good little middle ground, I believe. You set your input devices here. Your compose key view customized shortcuts is not working yet. Uh, your displays they show up as zero and one and how many displays you got um i haven't seen anything about a 
primary display. So I'm guessing that whatever you, it's not, since it's more along the lines of a, of a tiling window manager or a window manager than it is a actual desk, you know, com conventional desktop environment. I'm guessing that it's the primary display isn't going to matter. Um, I've got the same panel and bar dock, whatever on both displays here. And they operate independently of each other. Each, each, just each monitor seems to be showing me the, the relevant information for that monitor. And I kind of like that. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, the sound stuff is not working yet. You can see it all says to do, but you can adjust your sound through the, the through the volume icon. You can change your out output and your input and show media controls. And then the sound settings button doesn't go anywhere yet. Here's your system and accounts. You can, your users are going to be here when it's, when it's up and ready. Here's the about. This is basically the like the old GNOME settings. And then about tells you your system information. This right here never filled out right. I hope they can make that editable at some point. Because <laughs> this is good. That, that's annoying. Uh, it didn't do that on on the it doesn't do that on the old cause on the old pop desktop but it shows you know my memory the processor the graphics everything seems to be showing displaying correctly uh the os architecture desktop environment windows system and then get support is still to do and then you got your time and language yada yada what to do nothing nothing there yet so that is the settings <clears throat> you got the text text editor it's called cosmic edit cosmic editor and it's just basically a text editor it, it's kind of kind of cool um see i've got a here's just an example of an html file so it's, you know, it's showing the the syntax pretty good. I don't know what all it does show on that as far as the editing. This right here is awesome. This is uh, Cosmic Terminal, I think is what it's called. But it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a terminal and it works i mean there's nothing super fancy about it but it works and it seems to be pretty damn fast so i'm not complaining um i did have somebody over in the switch to linux matrix server suggest to me instead of the neofetch because i was complaining about neofetch and and uh, fast fetch and every other fetch out there always seems to have to give you the a big logo like this CPU fetch. I think I installed this one. Yeah, look at the size of this freaking logo. Why does it lo Why does that need to be so damn big? So instead of you know doing all that, oops. Why not just use something like INXI and it gives you exactly what you want to know. I love this. INXI is freaking awesome. I'm, I'm keeping this one on there. INXI is awesome. Uh, SuperQ quits the windows. Um, Brave, and for some reason... You know, I can save certain apps into the dock. 
like Brave, I saved in the end of the dock, and it starts just fine. But when I do something like Chrome, it opens, but it doesn't even give me the icon, and it will not let me save it to favorites in the dock. And I thought it might have been something because of the difference between the flat pack versions, because Brave's dev version would not save into the favorites, but the flat pack did. So I tried tried it with Chrome. I uninstalled the dev and put in the the flat pack, but the flat pack won't save into the into that either. This here is the new Cosmic Files Manager. And it's the files file roller. It works. There's nothing fancy to write home about other than hey, it works. <laughs> it's it's cool. Um I I can mount my extra drive, go to it, that's an internal drive. This one is my external drive. And I can go to it and it takes a second because it's two terabytes. There it is. There's all my stuff there. This is uh, my next cloud. Uh, where did it go? That big old long ass thing there is quite annoying but other than that I did notice like on here it does not give the full file names I don't know if that's just the way that it's the view is the list view yeah when you've got it on the grid view it does not show you it cuts off the last word I'm thinking that might be be the way the from the size of it Icon size, 100%. Icon size, grid. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's the icon size. Now I gotta remember where I had that at. There. But like I said, if you're wanting to use a corporate run... Corp, you know, company developed corporate run distro. I think Pop OS should probably be it. Like I said, I did use it for almost three years as a daily driver. Um, so I might be a little biased on that. But it it never failed me. I mean, it. the only reason I pretty much slipped away from it was because I've Wanted to switch to Zorin OS and give it a try because I had never done that. And I had a friend of mine that used Zorin OS and he kept asking me for support on it. And I'm like, I've got no clue. I don't use Zorin. <laughs> and uh, so I checked it out. I liked it. And then I just never went back to Pop. I don't know why, but I went to, went to straight up Debian. And then... You know, played with Ubuntu 2404 when it came out. But it's nice to be back in Pop. I'm excited for this new desktop. Um, can't wait to see it get included in everybody's repos. <laughs> I hope it's something that totally blows GNOME out of the water as far as usage. Because, look, I don't care what you guys think about the vertical desktops or horizontal desktops or whatever your pers persuasion is this the way they are set up here in cosmic is okay you start off with two they're all automatic automatic dynamically spawned at the at the drop of a hat so when you've got i'm sure they're gonna, probably going to make it so that you can set up static a static number but let's say you got this one we want to start one there 
So now you hit the super and your down arrow and you switch to desktop number two. But there's no desktop three, but you can still switch back up there to one. And then to move, if you wanted to take that one, take that, take this terminal down to desktop two, super shift and down. And now you've got that, you know, that kind of thing. So what you can do, go, go back down here. Every time you open an app, you see that? You get a new, new workspace, desktop, whatever you want to call it, opens up. I've got this all the way up to, to 29, I think it was, and then it switched back to 21. But I'm sure if you got that many workspaces going on, you're, <laughs> you're working your ass off. So, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. There's 10. Yeah, I'm already out of what I would always ever use. But then you can just, you know, go back up and kill each one of them. And now you're there. It's so stupid simple. And oh, another thing. One other thing. This is what really blows me away. Is the app store. Look at this. Remember the pop shop? This is the app store. Cosmic app store. This actually works. And it's working really good. Um, like some of these. You know. it It's most. A lot. Is flat pack. And it does from come from flat hub. But Dude. Dude, <laughs> this is, this is, I think I can pull the pop up. Here's the pop shop. I don't know if it's going to work being in cosmic or not. Oh, there it goes. See how long that took to open? <laughs> Do you see the difference? This is so much nicer. Like say this, oh look, says I've got updates. Front times, imagine that, flat packs. It's not showing the updates over here. I don't know what, why, it's probably because it's not ready yet. But dude, just, just, oh dude. So much easier to read. So much nicer to, you know, look at. Look, here's the Slack. And here's the Slack. Miles better. Miles better looking. Much better to to work. Look, here's Flat Hub or, or a Dev Pack. Here's Dev or Flat Hub. Dude. Which is so much better. So check that out over at Pop OS. It's it's easy to, to to install it. If you're if you're running Pop OS 22.04, you gotta enable Wayland. You just go here and then you edit uh you know, what is it? Etsy slash GDM Three slash, I think I got a space in there. Yeah, Etsy slash, ah, GDM three slash custom dot com. Think, yep, that's it. And then you see where it says Wayland enable. Change that to true. Do a reboot. And then uh, just do a sudo apt install cosmic dash 
star. It'll install everything from the Cosmic Epic package. And when it pops up and says, do you want to use GDM3 or Cosmic Greeter? Don't choose Cosmic Greeter. It's not ready yet. Uh, choose, keep with the GDM3. Uh, I would save using Cosmic Greeter for when you get to um, having the release actually out that's based on 2404. So other than that, dude, this was awesome. I'm impressed. I will check back with you again next weekend about my personal challenge of using Pop! OS Cosmic Desktop during the day job all week long. And I'll, I'll let you know if it actually worked or if I had to ditch it and go back to the, to the Gnome Cosmic. But I got this feeling I'm not going to have to. Cool. We will catch you guys again next time. Be good, be safe. Never ever stick a finger where you wouldn't stick your face.